Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, we've got a race this time at Browns Hatch driving the GR4 um, BMW, starting from pole position as you can see there. Um, this was before we realised about the fuel saving that you could be doing with the um, BMW M4. And it was quite an entertaining race because there was a lot going on in the first lap, there was a lot going on through the race and there was even you know, a lot of drama on the last lap. So let's take a look at this race, real fun race to be involved with. We are qualified on pole over 128.6 driving the BMW M4. Um, we got Isma Money in second position, he really scared me every time I was racing against him. He was just so aggressive, he was the, he was the driver that when we were doing the fuel saving we just let past. And um, I explained in one of the other videos where with the, it, I still think it's an issue with the fuel saving. I understand. The, the gear changes do affect um, you know fuel consumption but not to that effect but anyway and um, that was the race that we ended up just letting him pass because we were so scared of how aggressive he, he was in terms of the way he drove so close to you and I, I didn't really want that because if it, if you know this penalty system was a lot better when we did this video I would have been okay from driving like that but with the way it was I was really nervous so you can see there going through the first corner and um, we've got this guy behind us and he's really he's, he's always all over the place and he's really aggressive he, he basically makes you feel like he's gonna throw a dive bomb up at any corner and it made me really nervous with the penalty system that was running at the moment so we were constantly looking in our mirror you can see there we run a little bit wide but so did the guy behind us going into this corner now you can see he's looking he's actually gonna place one down that middle and I just instantly got a little bit scared so I gave him plenty of space but I knew if I take that wide line I should be able to get a reasonably good exit and we managed to hold on to first place and um, just left him in our mirror I could see him there so I just went a little bit defensive here you can see I just pull over a little bit just let him know I know he's there go back over to the racing line and then give ourselves the line for this corner we go through the corner really nicely and cleanly um, at this point I wasn't aware what was going on behind me but we go through to this corner now really fast round the right hander we run a little bit wide and you can see we have a massive oversteer moment and we I don't know how I managed to save that considering we didn't have any counter steer assist on nothing like that we carry on the inside line there have a little look back it looked like he may have made a move behind us the guy in second place and we'll go back and have a look at that replay and uh, have a little look at what happened there so this is the replay from third position have a little look what's happened from his perspective you can see they're going into the corner where um, it looked like second was making a move on us he makes a little move but second position actually runs wide going wide onto the grass there nearly collects the guy in look at that it's so close to getting wiped out really good reactions from the guy in third place and then you can just see us in the distance just about catching that um, massive moment so we'll go back and we'll have a little look on board the footage from the guy in third place to see what it looked like from his perspective you can see now you can see ourselves have slowed it down to have a little closer look at this and just to show you how close this was um, as a guy in second place he gets out on the grass he got a lot of understeer and his rear goes he saves it gets it back on the track with the rear tire gripped on the track and oh that was so close really lucky and then if you look in the mirror he takes out the guy behind him so it was just mayhem on that one and look at that save that was just such a great save i was really proud of that save and um, considering we've got no assist on when we did that and then we just stayed on the inside he looked like he was gonna have a little look he backed out of it and then he, he ran a little bit wide there where he was obviously taking a really tight line but um wasn't anywhere else i could really go there but um uh, he had no issue. He had no issue with that anyway. After the race, um, it was all good. So going through the race now, back carrying on with the race. We're obviously still on lap one, and all that happened on lap one. Really entertaining first lap. Um, luckily, still in the lead with that amazing catch there. I'm, I'm really, I'm going to keep saying it because I was just so proud of myself because that isn't as easy as it looks on a steering wheel to catch something like that with no assists on. And um, luckily, we did it, and we're still in the lead. So going through turn one, always a tricky corner this, you've got to be so careful not to run wide there. Um, going down to the braking zones, we've still got the guy behind us, fairly equal between myself and them. GT Bocker is behind us. Um, very equal speed, <coughs> he seemed to be um, gaining on us some laps this lap and then we gained on him I think a little bit after that. So really stalemate situation between us two as we're both trying to pull away. Obviously he's getting a little bit of slipstream from us at the moment so he's going to gain bit, a bit of speed down the straight. Um, just a tenth or two on this, maybe a tenth or so on this straight, and then some of the other straights are another tenth or so. So we're just trying to keep it consistent. Um, you can see there, we're revving the car to what I, I, I mean, I admit that maybe I was over revving this car slightly, but um, not to the extent. That if you look at everyone else, everyone else was doing the exact same as me, so it mustn't be a known, like a known issue that everyone knows about. So I'm glad that I've got that video out to share with everyone that short shift in this car really does save you a lot of fuel because. I still think it's still not a correct amount of fuel that it should save you. They need to do something to make it more equal, I think. Anyway, as you can see there, going through the rest of the lap, 
and we pretty much stalemate game there. Seven, it varies from about six to eight tenths. I think six, six to eight tenths of a second the gap. Um, we're just trying to concentrate, keep keep some, keep a nice smooth line. You've got to be careful. I, I mean, I did ma I did manage to get my lap down to like very low 29th, 28th, late 28th, near enough um, in the race conditions. But it was just so risky doing that. Um, it just requires one lack of concentration when you're really pushing, and you lose a lot of time by making a silly error, especially with the penalty system that was on when we did this race. Obviously now. We're hoping that it's all sorted. I've heard a lot of good feedback from the new penalty system that it, it looks like it's been fixed and hopefully that's the case. I um, haven't had a chance to test it myself yet. Obviously, I do a lot of other games. So once I get back around to getting on GT Sport, we'll get back to it and test that, that penalty system out. We'll give it a good day of racing and I'll, I'll upload what I've, I, I find. I'm not just going to upload one race. I don't think having one race and having clean races is a good enough judgment. That's why I did, when I did the penalty system, how wrong it was. I gave it a few days and made sure I had enough content to show why I don't believe that penalty system was in a, in a good for any sort of form of racing on this game. But like I say, we'll we'll do a thorough test of that and give our results back to you guys as soon as I've found out. Hopefully it's going to be good news. Judging by people's comments, it looks better. As you can see now, still, still in the lead, lap three, um, just trying to concentrate on our driving line, concentrating as much as we can. Um, trying to keep our speed reasonable you can see i kept going through the sectors in purple but i was losing a lot on the final corner and i think at the final sector i think a lot of it was the slipstream he was getting from us obviously he's getting in the slipstream and gaining on us so his sec sector three was a lot better especially down this straight now he seemed to be gaining quite a bit of slipstream down here now and obviously on that back straight as well he was gaining the slipstream so we go over the line um at 29.737 identical to the guy behind us he goes through over the line 29.728 so less than you know it's just tiny fractions in the lap times there so we're doing okay we're, we're lapping okay it's, it's about a second off our qualifying time but obviously we've got tire wear on now and um, the fuel's in there but just look how much fuel we've used i mean it just shows you the difference from when i uploaded the video to show you the fuel gains and um, when you short shift but at least we know about that now and i've put that video out there so all you guys know about that if you haven't seen the video yet make sure you check the video out and um, you, you, you can just save yourself a pit stop basically and it really is an advantage to know it so do check that video out and anyway getting back to the race and um, lap four you can see now again we're putting in reasonably consistent look at that first sector we did a really nice first sector and i think it was because we absolutely nailed that corner before that straight really got the power nice and early and we've actually gained a bit on him on this lap we managed to get it back up to eight attempts but he is staying with us obviously he's got that he's got the um slipstream from from our car so he is managing to hold on down the straight and close it back up in the straights you can see in the corners we were gaining a bit then as soon as we're back onto the straights um, he seems to pull it away but we didn't nail that corner you can see there we didn't really get on the power early enough and he started to bring that gap back a bit so we did lose a bit of time on that corner and then going into the last corner trying again just to concentrate i could see that he's behind me i know he's behind me i just don't want to do anything stupid at this point i'm trying i'm trying to keep good speed it's such a hard thing when you've got someone behind you you can see me looking back in the mirror and then going through to this to turn one you can see we go into the corner and we're running wide and we hit that gravel and the back end's gone and we're into the barrier there luckily no damage on this game but a five second penalty this is why the, the system really frustrated me not only did i make the mistake and lose out massively i've got a five second penalty that I've got to get rid of. We've managed to get it down to 2.2, obviously, by the time we've got going again. But I need to try and get rid of that again to, without losing too much time. So you can see, I'm going to have to try it again to get rid of this before this next sector split up here. So I move over and I'm just trying to get rid of it at this point. I'm slowing down, it's not going anywhere. The guy goes past me and then I've got to get going again. Luckily, the, the guy on the outside of me there, he runs wide, he just goes completely off the track because I, I, I don't really know what he was doing there. Maybe he didn't think I was going to give him space. But I was always going to give him the space. I've seen him coming. And then we've got the guy behind us that um, I really didn't like having behind me. Um, he, he was really, you know, aggressive driving. So we're going to see what we can do now. Fourth position, we're, we're 1.5 seconds, 1.6 seconds behind the guy in front. And um, <coughs> he was a reasonably fast driver. I just felt I got really frustrated after that error. I felt, felt like that race was mine then. It should have been a win. Um, and then considering I didn't. No, no one in this race knew about the um, short shifting. That, that's why I knew it was going to be a good... It, it, it was our chance of getting the win. And um, DX3 Day Run obviously wasn't in the race. Um, so it was my fair, It was a good chance of getting the win. And, and 
annoyingly we made that horrible error which lost us a lot of time because not only did we spin probably lost at least six seven seconds in terms of spinning then we had the penalty to get rid of so we lost over 10 well over 10 seconds is my guess as you can see there actually 12 seconds we we're 11 11.1 11 seconds behind the leader so we were about a second ahead so we lost about 12 seconds behind the leader there really frustrating um but we did our best to try and get back up the f you know put some speed together get consistent it's such a hard thing to do after making an error that you know was your fault to try and concentrate again but we've, we're putting in good sectors. you can see there another purple sector in the first sector we're definitely putting in good sectors throughout the laps and um, going through to this tight left hand a real tricky corner this you want to go in really aggressive but you've got to just hold off turning in until the point just perfect so you can get on the power really early uh, real, one of the trickiest corners at brown Satch, i find that corner there and then going down the long straight into this really fast right hand i, re I really enjoy this corner and um, downshifting just before that board the, the board on the left there into fourth gear then short shifting into fifth gear and then just before this white board there down into fourth gear really attack the curb on the right hand side on the power nice and early use some of the curb on the left and you can see there is starting to gain very slowly on the guy in front it's not massively a massive amounts but we're just starting to close in very quickly we're not yet in his slipstream um yeah but we've got pit stop coming up soon anyway so um we'll we'll talk about what we do when we go in the pits um in terms of you can see the guy behind starting to fall off us a bit there now um his aggressive driving really didn't seem to be paying off for him at all he just started to fall back um that's why i just didn't want him any anywhere near me when he was behind me he just scared me every time he was behind me i was just thinking oh my god please just don't come near the rear of my car i just thought i'm gonna get a penalty if you come near with, with this penalty system that we were running when we did this race um, obviously things will be different now we know the penalty system it sounds like it's been cleared up and we can actually start racing properly again but you can see now staying around 1.5 1.4 seconds a lap behind but with with slow i felt like i had the speed it was just making stupid errors on the, on a few corners and it was just losing us the fraction of time that we needed to just pull him back in a bit and um, we're actually in second place now because um gt bockham did an early stop um, obviously wanted to get them fresh tyres on so he's got you know full fresh tyres for the rest of the race um, I didn't know what to say because at this stage I could see that the guy in front of me clearly has good speed so we had to consider a way to get past him um, the only way I could think of was in the pit stop so we had to think of a strategy um, under fuel in I could have done that but um, I didn't really want to be losing out on acceleration down the straights so you can see the tyres starting to wear now so I wanted to go in the pits the same lap as he did obviously and it'd have to be this lap we've we've got just one lap of fuel lap there at this point so there's no way we were going to get around the lap um, to make it all the way we could have probably done it if we would have just put it into oh no actually we got 1.8 laps of fuel so we can actually get around another lap let's see if this guy pits in this lap and see if we follow him so he's is he gonna pit no he stays out stays out so we're staying out for another lap you can see i just wanted to follow him in maybe i should have gone in at that point and just put the fresh tires on and gone for a really fast lap and then um, try to undercut him in the pits that could have been a possibility but um it's just a risk if you didn't get past him then is, is, there wasn't really much chance at Brown's Hatch. Um, you can make overtakes at Brown's Hatch, but it is a tricky track to really do them when you're in equal cars, when you've got equal tyres on, on your car, etc. And we're both obviously pushing hard. And you can see he's definitely a good driver. We've managed to close the gap down to 1.1 seconds. So we was gaining on him. We've gained about four attempts over a few laps. This track is not a long track, so it's really hard to gain big margins. Again, through that, that sector there, purple again. We were really hitting the sectors nicely in this race. It was just that... Um, that final sector we wasn't really in there and you can see our laps drop down to third, 1 minute 30s that's where the grip was starting to fade off a bit through these really fast corners and um, where the where the extra tire grip will really give you time and um, benefit so again pretty much down to one second gap really attacking that curb you can see there i really wanted to get close to him and get in his slipstream before we pit just so i can try my hardest to um get closer and you can see i've got an issue with the pit entry on this game as well i feel they should just let you pit normally like in other games um, even an option to do it all manual because I, I i tried something on this i basically just went in flat out you can see how much time i gain on first place so look watch this going down into fourth gear and accelerate watch how aggressively i enter the pit now i would have crashed at this point but I'd take that corner and that would have been straight into the barrier but because i knew that the pit thing did that there i get away with it so I think that needs patching to be brutally honest i think you should just be able to enter the pits properly yourself so what we did here we didn't change our tires it was the only strategy i could think of that was going to get us definitely in front of him so we obviously fueled up normally but we didn't change our tires and we come out um 
three, three point three, three point five seconds in front of the guy, but we've got obviously nine, ten, eleven, four laps of running the worn tyres against the faster tyres, and that is going to be worth. It works out around about a second a lap, and um, something like that, just maybe seven, seven tenths to a second a lap. So I knew he was definitely going to have the speed. So what we were trying to do now is just concentrate on keeping some speed. I didn't want to make any stupid errors as one tiny error would probably lose me the chance of maintaining this third position um, which would have been a result considering we completely lost control of the car, got that time penalty and we were really you know, so far behind. You can see there we've actually gained quite a big time on GT Bocca there. Um, he's actually four seconds ahead of us so it just shows you the difference we were actually 12 seconds behind him after we made that crash so i think this race would have been a clear victory for ourselves if we would have had obviously the chance to um without making that horrible error i think he actually got held up behind the guy in second for a bit um, as he i don't think he was pitting what he was trying to do was save his fuel to the end and see if he can make it all the way to the end without pitting and um, obviously he didn't know about the short shifting clearly because he was obviously doing the fuel management way and then um, he was really starting to lose a lot of speed and obviously grip on them tyres we were obviously stuff suffering with the tyres as well but um, we had the advantage of the full fuel so we could just drive flat out anyway getting back onto the gap you can see the guy behind us has managed to get that gap under three seconds now i think we made a slight error on that lap that lost us quite a bit of time um, it's really frustrating i think we lost about three four attempts on one of them corners but yeah we're starting to really close in on the guy in front my aim now was to see if we could gain and get past the guy in second position to give us a car behind we make it a really frustrating error there you can see another two attempts lost just by that lost attraction out that final corner you can see the tire that rear left tire really struggling for grip and that was the tire that gave up on us then downshifting it through his corner I actually went down to second to try and get a nice cleaner exit on the car and obviously give us a tighter line flat corner so I can get a clean exit but we're still losing a lot of time it's down to 2.1 seconds the gap to the guy behind and we're closing on the guy with two seconds behind the guy in front and two seconds behind, behind in front of the guy behind it's going to be a, a quite a tense end into this race as you can see now it's just a matter of just trying to hold our nerve and see if we can make it through whilst we've got such a lack of grip and you know in this situation i always prefer to be the chaser with the fresh tires um you know that you're putting the pressure on you know that the guy in front's feeling the pressure i was feeling the pressure at this point you can see another little error there losing another little bit of time the tires are really starting to struggle on the car obviously i'm driving flat out if i would have been short shift then i probably would have been driving better because when you short shift this car you don't get the wheel spin as much so it's i, I just didn't know at that point about the short shifting so um annoyingly we didn't know about that at this point but i think it made for a more entertaining race as it was more fair as i you know like i say i still think that's an issue with the game that needs um slightly adjusting what i think it should do is i think it should save you the fuel but not to the extent that you don't have to pit i think it should just make your pit stop a little bit shorter maybe a second shorter in the pits maybe a second and a half shorter just give you a little bit of an advantage if you want to do that in the pits that's that's what my personal view is on it anyway and um, you know the other people have another view they're entitled to that but that's just my view i think it's overpowered and it needs fixing so look at this race now 1.6 seconds we lost a bit of time to the guy in front a few errors he's obviously been saving his fuel for the so he had the fuel for the last few laps and um, we made some real real nasty errors on this lap you can see the guy behind us is, is he's in the slipstream now and we've got to hold him off for pretty much a lap and a half or more um, because he's going to be in the slipstream getting closer and closer every single corner as we're running out of grip you can hear the tires screeching away as we've got no grip through the corners and um, trying our best to just concentrate you can see how look at that lap there what 31.7 that wasn't a great lap on lap 10 that was about i reckon seven tenths off what we should have really been doing maybe half second off what we should have been doing and that's where we've lost a lot of the time as he's now right behind us just a tenth behind us he's, he's looking to make a move i go defensive over to the left i know he can't make a move now so what i need to do is ensure i get a nice clean exit from this final corner lifting off a bit and then getting on the power as early as i can using all the track and we really did that corner well there saved us from a move down this start straight as you can see there he's still free. he's actually gone to three tenths behind us now this real tricky corner when you've got no grip trying to concentrate i do not want to run right wide clipping the apex really nicely and again pushing it around there and again we've managed to save ourselves from a move there downshifting through the gears keeping it nice and tight on the apex so we can't throw one off the inside getting on the powers early as we dare we did that reasonably clean as well again holding him off and we're actually gaining on the car in front now because we're driving 
a lot better at this stage. You can see the difference in our drive. We're really in the concentration um, point now. And I just need to be cautious. He doesn't throw a move up. He's trying to keep it in third gear for this corner. Getting on the power nice and early. The rear wanted to step out then, but we managed to save it just about. Still three times behind now. He's really getting, he's got the slipstream. I was getting, I thought he was going to make a move down the inside here. Now looking at that top right hand corner, you can see just how close it is. He's got the fresh rubber on his tyres. We haven't. Going through this corner, really struggling for grip. I'm going to have to go defensive. I go to the right hand side to block any move there. This is going to compromise our exit though on this corner. You can see that I tried to hold as much speed as can. He's going to go down that inside. I tried to give him as little room down that right hand side, but then I back, I know that he's got that corner. So I back off to try and undercut a bit here now, give myself a clean exit. And now I've just got to try my hardest to try and stay with him and make a move down the start straight, see if we can get this slipstream, getting as close as I can through this corner. And then we're going to try and go a real wide entry. So you can see I throw it over to the left and then try and get out wide. I have to lift off slightly as he's, he's in my way before I can get on the power. The rear wanted to step out, getting in his slipstream. And second place, you look, he's run out of fuel down the straight on the final bit of stretch of track. We go over to the left to see if we can get into second place. Unfortunately, we don't get that. Just a tenth behind the guy in second. But we managed third place, so the guy in fourth there ran out of fuel on the last final stretch of track. Really enjoyable race. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I know I did. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And we're going to be back with more videos on the channel for GT Sport, Assetto Corsa and Project Cars 2. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this.